Shalom, beloved. A word. <clears throat> I was moved to share with you something the Spirit put on me. That's in Matthew chapter 25 and also in the book of Daniel chapter 12. However, I was also looking at CNBC News about the Russian soldiers firing on a Ukraine power plant. And I wanted to show you something that I saw. Some people will say it's a reflection from the cameras. Some people will say whatever. But I'm going to tell you what came to me in the spirit. The spirit of death is all over the Ukraine. It's all over that region, the spirit of death. When I was looking at this particular video, you can see it looks like the eyes, it looks like a face staring at you. And again, many people may say that it's a reflection of the camera. I'm going to play a short clip of the news. I, I blew it up so that you could get a closer look, whether it's large or small, you will see it. And I wanted to share that with you because the curses are unleashed. And again, I am going to go into Matthew 25 and it may be brief, but it will be complete. But I had to put this up there because I saw it. I'm going to play it just for a moment so that you can see this stays on this clip. All right, beloved, watch. Disturbing new video. These are live images of something we have just learned about from the Associated Press and Reuters. And these fireballs that you're seeing in the near ground are important and chilling. Here's what we've learned. Europe's largest nuclear power plant, the largest one on the continent, is in southern Ukraine. And this moment, it's reportedly being shelled by Russian troops. Now, that's according to the Associated Press. Now, beloved whether I shrink it or keep the image large, this was playing on a live broadcast. Even when I shrink it, you can see it in the foreground, you see it, it does not change. And initially, my intention was to read again from the book of Matthew chapter 25 and from the book of Daniel chapter 12. But I was looking at this, and as I watched certain parts, I was like, the spirit of death is all over. It's not just all over in the Ukraine. It's all over Europe. You can see it like a spirit staring out. And many people have begun to speak about the fact that um, we know that just as it was in the days of Noah, when the earth was destroyed by water, that when those last days come, it shall be fire. And this right here, just this image, what I was getting was the spirit of death. I was getting the spirit of death. And to look and literally see what looks like eyes. And as some of the clip keeps going, you can almost make out a face. Again, some people will say that that's simply um, an image of the reflection on the video. But what I get, and it's strong, is a spirit of death is all over the place over there, OK? I'm going to share with you, and I think I'm going to summarize Matthew 25. It speaks about the fact that, um, and let me go to it, because I was so caught on this image and I wanted to share it, um, that I'm in Matthew 25, and I'm going to skip around. Right now, I'm at the 14th verse. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, 
to every man according to his several ability, and straight away he took his journey. As we read on in this story, we find out that to the man who he gave five talents, he reproduced it into 10, he doubled it. To the man that he gave two talents, he reproduced it, doubled it. And to the one he gave one talent, he buried it. Now, what I was getting from this is there were multiple people who were given the word of God. There were multiple powers that were given this word to share with others. And this person who was given the one talent, he buried it. You have people, you have major powers that instead of sharing that word, the talent is a weight. It is a weight of measure. It can also be considered a gift, okay? Something very valuable spiritually. But instead of increasing it, instead of duplicating it, instead of sharing it, instead of making it gain a profit, you can profit in spiritual matters, okay? Um, he buried it. We know there are people who were given a talent. There are groups of people who were given a talent. And not only did they not share that word, that true word of the most high, they hid it and they kept it from others. They, they could not benefit from it. He answers when the rich man comes back and said, I know you were. Uh, I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth, okay, because I knew that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou has not sown, gathering where thou has not strong. When these powers, let's say Constantine, got his talent, he initially, we know he was a pagan, but these superpowers, they got this word, this, this powerful spiritual gift of knowledge. And what they did was hide the power of it, hide the ability for it to reproduce and to benefit others as well as the one who gave it to him. They buried the truth. They changed the fact that Instead of honoring the most high on the Sabbath, we're going to hide it and change the date of when people can rest and not work. We're going to change the names. We are even going to hide the people of the most high. We are going to hide the books. We are going to hide the information. We are going to manipulate it for our own benefit instead of honoring it for what it truly is. When this great um, man comes back and he looked for this ta talent, those who have reproduced, he tells them, wait a minute, for every, for unto everyone that has been given and for unto everyone that have been given, and he shall have abundance, but from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he has, okay? Now, take therefore the talent from him and give it to him which has 10 talents, okay? I'm trying to find it, forgive me. Forgive me, okay? For unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. From, but from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man come in his glory and all his holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divide of his sheep from the goats. The one with the one talent is the goat. 
He took that word of God, the spirit of the most high, his people, and he buried it. He did not honor it. He altered it. He did what he, what he would with it. Okay. But they're going to cast that unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now I'm going to move around. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the earth. For I was hungered and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came in unto me. Now, the people say, then shall the righteous answer him saying, Lord, when, when saw we thee hungered and fed thee or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, as much as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren. When he says my brethren, we have to reference where in another part of the scripture, he says, who are my brothers? Who is my sister? Who is my mother? But those that do the will of my father. Okay, so when he speaks of his brethren, that's those who are doing the will of the most high, not those who hide the truth, those who hide who the people of the most high are, those who alter history, those who go against his statutes, laws, and commands, those who try to feed his people unholy food. Understand now there is yet another group and said and the king shall answer and say unto them verily i say unto you inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of my brethren ye have done it unto me then shall he say unto them on the left hand depart from me ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels for i was hungered and you gave me no meat Meat. He is in, in scripture. Meat is the loaves, is the bread, that bread that came down from heaven, that heavenly manner. So when he's talking about meat, that word, okay, many of the children of the Most High were manipulated. They were not allowed to hear that word, or when they heard it, the word was distorted, manipulated, manipulated, and lied on for the profit and benefits of others instead of honoring the most high. For I was hungry and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. Come that you drink of those living waters, those living waters. They're those who have been given that talent. They have the knowledge, but they hid it away from the people, okay? I was a stranger and you took me not in. We are strangers in the land of our captivity and you took me not in naked and you clothed me not. Not covered in the word in the spirit of the most high. And they don't want this word to go out. We know that this system proliferates right now in sexuality, immorality, violence, drugs, it proliferates, okay? But it does not proliferate with the spirit of the Most High, teaching people to honor the Most High, to treat one another in a humane fashion. That's not what's going on. Naked, and you clothed me not, sick and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they answer him saying, Lord, when we, when saw we thee and hungered or thirst or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee, then shall he answer them saying, verily I say unto you, as much as you did it not for one of the least of these, you did it not to me. 
and these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into everlasting eternal life. Okay. Many people think because of a person's status. We have seen of late, even it is not just the treatment of people of color by uh, so-called guards. It is the way, the inhumane way that uh, Hebrews, African-Americans, so-called people, have been disregarded, be it by the way the news reports, by the way they speak. Somehow they try to make it as if one group of people are more humane than another group of people, even though this talent that they have when they try to call these people Christian and ignore other groups, no, not just in one place in the world, I'm going four corners. There is no compassionate, way of speaking there is no the compassion that we hear now for another group going through trials and tribulation those same compassionate terms are not used for when yasharel is going through tribulation on the four corners of the earth it takes somebody else calling it to account the fact that many of these same said people have their hands in areas like haiti or when the Haitians sought refuge, when the, when the people of color were here asking for help and they were deigned as criminal, as riotous, as somebody to be shot down, they had that talent, but they buried it. And many of those of Yasharel also who have that talent and bury it instead of sharing it with one another, now I'm going to, and I'm giving it to you as it came to me. Okay. Now I'm going to the book of Daniel chapter 12. I've got to forgive me, bear with me. I'm in chapter 12. I'm moving around. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. He's talking about the end of days. He's talking about the end of days. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the water of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times, and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. I know it sounds like I'm moving about because it was coming to me in a certain manner. You have great powers, people of great powerful positions that have taken that talent, that truth that the Most High gave them and buried it for their own self-interest instead of walking in the truth of what the Most High said, believing that if we speak the word according to our own uh, individual designs, it's still going to benefit us instead of doing what the Most High said, burying the people of the Most High, burying their history. Right now, we are seeing that once again, the true history of Yasharel, we're in a country that wants to bury it. They want to control it. They want to narrate it. The same as that word of the most high, whether it's through the manipulation of the Bible, whether it's through the manipulation of who the people are, instead of those who say they are Jews and are not, but do lie and are of the synagogue of Satan, that abomination of desolation in a holy place, and yet taking the people of the Most High, just like they did in the fourth book of Maccabees and coming in and making them eat swine's flesh and doing things that they know according to the scripture, according to that talent that these people should not do, but they took it, they hid it, using it for their own benefit, figuring that if we manipulate it will work for us. Never recognizing or trying to honor the fact that when you dishonor what the Most High said, 
You're not just dishonoring a group of people, you're dishonoring him and you bring down a curse upon yourself. Now, as I finish up, beloved, I was getting the fact that curse is loosed, it's loosed. And even we are going to go through a great tribulation. Forgive me again, I told you I was kind of bouncing all around because I was trying to get it out of me as it was coming to me. Okay, I'm going to start at um, Daniel chapter 12. Okay, and I'm just going to start verse one and go from there. And at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. And I'm going to stop there. And they shall be delivered. Now, some people, are going to get caught in the tribulation and die. But if your name is in that book, you will rise again, beloved. If you have repented of your sins, confess, ask that the Lord come into your heart, cover you in the blood of the Most High's Lamb, you shall be delivered. But we are seeing the beginning of sorrows. We are seeing the beginning of of that curse be loosed and those who had that talent, that talent of knowledge, that talent of the truth, that tried to hide it, manipulate it, keep the people from what the Most High wanted us to do, even by changing days and times, those people, that judgment has come down and that spirit is moving throughout you are talking about a war loving people, but the judgment has come because it is not a judgment based on dishonoring people first. It is a judgment based on dishonoring the most high. That one talent that was hidden, given as a gift, if you will, okay? Now, that same talent can be used as a weight. It is a measure. It is a large measure, but it is given in trust. That talent that was buried, that same talent is now being called to account. It is being called to account, beloved. And many of those, those goats that are on the left side, those goats who think I will use from it what I will for my benefit, leaving out the truth, dishonoring, replacing. It's not about a people in the truest sense. It's about the most high and his judgment that people did not believe because they thought they could manip manipulate Yahuwah. He is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And as I started out, the spirit of death, the spirit of tribulation has been loosed, beloved. And some of us will not make it in this realm, some of us. But the Most High has us, whether on this side or the next, as long as we repent of our sins and turn towards him, because the end of this system is the beginning of the most highs. Beloved, it is a word. I hope you received it in the manner that I got it. It's growing late. I started to wait till tomorrow, but I wanted to get it out. Even if it comes out sounding strange, I'm giving it to you the way I got it. I'm giving it to you the way I got it. And really there's more, but I gave you as much as I could right now. A word, beloved. The spirit of death is loosed. That spirit of retribution, of tribulation, it is a cleansing spirit to remove those things that Yahuwah has deemed. No power on earth can stop it, irregardless to whom it comes towards. Many people eating, drinking, giving in marriage, 
celebrating and suddenly it just comes. Prepare thy soul, beloved. The end is near. Wars, rumors of wars. Be prepared, beloved, because it will be time to go soon. In the name of the Most High, Yahuwah, Father, we ask that you bless us, keep us, and strengthen us as we keep our spiritual eyes on you, trusting beyond anything that we see, knowing you are capable of doing far above and beyond anything we know. Nothing is impossible for you. Let us live by faith, led according to your word and your spirit, honoring and glorifying you unto the end. Let us do nothing with an evil intent, but only through those things that thou sanction and thou approve. Guide us, Father, and let that still small voice speak to us, that we know whether we should continue moving straight, and let us turn not to the left nor to the right, but move straight ahead with our eyes on the prize, knowing to whom we belong and to whom we are committed. For unto you and you alone do we belong. All praise, glory, honor unto the majestic, glory, holy, terrible, and mighty Father. May you reign forever in our hearts and our minds and in our spirits now and forevermore. Guide us, Father. Lift us up. Let not this world overtake us as we turn to you our only and one true Savior, and your holy word and spirit. Glory, hallelujah, in the highest praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, thy word of life, we give a blessing and a praise unto you, asking that you return a blessing unto us with mercy, Father, for without it our sins would have us doomed. Amen. A word, beloved. Shalom.